damn dude going to crash their take me out event? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we are back with another vlog. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been filming all week. This is my fourth video. I usually don't film this much, but I filmed uh, my 2022 vision board, my budget with me for January, and I also vlogged our first YouTube event. So I did a lot of sit-down videos and I don't really, like I do them, I think they're necessary, but I I love vlogs. Vlogs are where it's at. So I'm very excited to introduce you to Valentine's Day vlog. Woo! If you watched my post uni QA, I said one of the things I miss the most about university is the community aspect and specifically ACS. And I stalk their Instagram page way too many times, just like living vicariously through them. So as I said in that video, I am indeed going to crash their take me out event. Hopefully nobody notices that I graduated like centuries ago. So I'm gonna go down to Brighton. I actually got a hotel room and we're gonna go to the take me out event Like the main event that's on campus and then we're gonna go for the after party I haven't been to a club since freshers week. Jeez since freshers. Yeah since freshers week. Wow So yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm just gonna get started with packing if you guys watched my Was it the Christmas vlog? I think we went to London. So I did a bit of packing and I actually have a packing list. I use an app called Notion. I have my whole packing list. I'm gonna link my packing template down below and you guys can download it so you just like duplicate it and then you can use it yourself. It has check boxes, it has categories. I just feel like it's super organized. Before we get into it, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm and let's get to it. If you guys watched my budget with me for January, then you guys will know that I do not have money to be spending on non-essentials. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm packing alcohol that is already in my house. This is our lovely bottle of apple sours, which is almost finished from Freshers Week. And I'm also carrying my Jägermeister from my 21st birthday live stream and also Freshers Week. This has seen some days, but that's like still really decent. Then I'm carrying Red Bull for some Jaeger bomb and then I've got this vodka cranberry thing that my mom bought So yeah, I definitely think that's enough for one night that way. I am saving money. Don't we love to see it? So I'm gonna do my makeup right now at home because if my memory serves me right the lighting in the hotel room is not that great and I'm not trying to look crazy We, we, we 
so I just arrived at the hotel. I'm trying to decide if I should give you guys a room tour because it's the same as the other room during Freshers Week. But I'll just show you guys in case you missed that vlog. there was a fire tell me why my first instinct was okay walk towards the door like get out of the room i didn't even take my phone my second instinct after let's get out of the room was record record for the vlog like really really cheryl life or death situation and you're gonna vlog guys the lighting in this room sucks but anyway that alarm went off two more times in the time that i was changing my camera battery okay so what i want to do is i actually want to go into town because i think i should buy like snacks or food and i also want to get one of those like handheld fans because the club is it's always hot in the club let's go into my favorite city So we are back. I went into Ryman. They had like miniature fans, but they weren't small enough to fit in my bag. So I ended up going to Churchill Square. I have not been to Churchill Square since my like first vlog, like week in the life of a computer science student, like way back when, like two years ago. That was the last time like I've gone into Churchill Square. I've like been around like the shops on the outside, but like inside, it's been like two years. I went into the store mini so I found a fan. I can like put it on my phone like that and while i'm in the club i'll be like this it was 12 pounds my february budget with me is going to be real fun so stay tuned for that then i got some ibuprofen because i can already feel my back getting sore if you know you know and then i also got some water and then i went to this place called tortilla they do really nice like mexican food i would put them in the same category as like a salsa mexican grill first time i went there was with a few people from my graduate job I I just got the same thing I got the other time, which was chicken tacos with like a bunch of toppings. I'm gonna have that since I don't think I'll have time to eat after the event. I will catch up with you guys when we are going. Hey guys, I am back and I am exhausted. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank God I have a Red Bull because I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna get through this night. I can't hold the camera up because my hand was shaking and getting sore. But yeah, that was Take Me Out. It was fun. I won't lie. I think it's been better in previous years. It could also be the fact that like we kind of waited for them to start for like an hour, which I find kind of funny because like on their Instagram page, they were like, <laughs> 5 30 you're starting at 6 o'clock do not be late and yeah literally we stood from like 6 o'clock to like 6 50 ish so we pretty much started like at around past 7 so everything has just been a little bit delayed in terms of plans we also don't know where pre's are gonna be i'm so tired and i have to like get ready to go out i'm going to take a shower i am not going to remove this makeup because i don't have time to redo this whole thing so i'm gonna take a shower avoid my face do some like fun pink eyeshadow valentine's day you get the vibes i think i'm gonna start off with a yoga bomb i don't see myself going to pre's so we're just gonna have to party enough to make up for no one else being here that's actually pretty decent so i'm gonna go into one of my favorite favorite palettes Ooh, my baby i had a feeling this was gonna happen one day we have a fallen soldier my pearl and she's the one i was planning on using today i'm just gonna be playing in these pinks and you'll see what happens and i just kind of like feel like doing something fun because during freshers week i got so many compliments on my eyeshadow also i did end up needing a subscriber i had acs take me out so shout out to her that was really dope always love meeting you guys i'm too busy loving my friends i ain't got no love to spare for you i'ma be that girl to the end it don't really matter what you do 
guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Boy, you really need to understand That I don't wanna be your how that looks. I also just listening to random music on Epidemic Sound. I think the Red Bull has definitely helped my energy. I'm gonna try the vodka cranberry now. I cannot taste vodka at all. <sighs> Should I have done my lips when I'm drinking? That's great. So that's it with my makeup. I'm gonna put on my outfits to go out, jewelry and all of that stuff. Clean up a little bit. See where we're standing on pre's. I don't think I'm going to pre's. Guys, I've been filming for like the last two minutes and only realized after that that I hadn't pressed record. And they call me a full-time YouTuber. My outfit is just like a sheer top. And then I've got like my nice belt and some jeans. I've got all gold jewelry, the same necklace that I was wearing earlier. My gold scepter ring which is like my favorite piece of jewelry got my bracelet my mom always used to make fun of me back in south africa because before going out i would always leave a bottle of water next to my bed because when cheryl comes home she like doesn't feel like drinking water but water saves lives i have my makeup wipe then here i've got my sleep mask then i've got thermal socks because i always feel cold and then i have my sweatpants which is what i'm sleeping in basically i have set up my whole life for after the club self-care for future you is great feeling good feeling energized thank you red bull i will be vlogging on my phone so apologies the footage isn't going to be good and i probably won't take much of it because when cheryl's at a club cheryl forgets that she's a youtuber well, you really need to understand that i'm not your girlfriend i just want to be up in the club but my girls yeah sipping that pub never worry about Guys, I'm in a state, as you can see. Huh, last night was crazy. We got there a little bit late, so we ended up standing in the queue outside, just like waiting for them to let us in. To be honest, I'm still having the same issue with nightclubs in this country. I don't know what's happening. The music wasn't hitting it for me. That's all I can say. Could also be that I'm too old for this clubbing thing. But it was nice like seeing, I saw a lot of people that I haven't seen since 2020. That was really exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!